what's going on everybody, Enigma here, and this is a review of Marvel Spider-Man on PS4 Pro. The game was released on the 7th of September and it was developed by Insomniac Games, the studio behind Ratchet & Clank, Sunset Overdrive and the Resistance series. Let me get this out of the way first, graphics wise, Insomniac completely knocked it out of the park. The lighting, textures, reflections, every aspect of the visuals is extremely polished. Despite the lack of a day-night cycle, there's enough variations in weather and time of day to keep things fresh. What's the situation in Korea? Now, swinging is the most important part of the gameplay, and the game absolutely nails it. It's fast and snappy, and the player is rarely gonna be stuck while moving, thanks to the great momentum in the swinging mechanics. Spider-Man will often adjust his movements depending on nearby structures and direction you're moving towards. The swinging does have a small learning curve, but once you learn the ropes, you'll be swiftly moving through the city in no time. The beautiful animations help a lot too. Spider-Man's movements blend exceptionally well with the environment. You can go from a wall run to swinging and slipping through a pipe and it all just looks incredibly fluid and smooth. The combat is really fun as well. Now, call me crazy, but I've enjoyed it a little bit more than in the Batman games, mainly because I had more fun with Spider-Man's gadgets and the variety in the combat moves and enemies. You can quickly go from ground to air combat, defeat enemies with great finishing animations while mixing gadgets in between. It's fluid, varied, and more importantly, fun. <laughs> The stealth sections also work surprisingly well. I honestly wasn't expecting much from the stealth gameplay, but it's really fun to sneak around enemies and take them down one by one. The same can't really be said about Mary Jane's sections. It's a bit slow, repetitive, but fortunately these parts never drag for too long. Insomniac also managed to tell a great story. The fact that the game starts with an experienced Spider-Man helps a lot in that regard, as we skip through story elements that were told over and over again. The game also often shifts focus from one character to another, as the story doesn't only focus on Spider-Man but also on Peter Parker's personal life, Mary Jane and Miles Morales. It's a compelling and interesting way to tell the story. Oh, there are some heavy no, boxes. No, 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 I mean, I mean, I mean, not yet. I mean, I came to, uh... Uh, I just, just wanted to talk. You also get to meet a lot of villains in the game. Electro, Vulture, Rhino, to only name a few. The game does a great job at building tension for the eventual boss fights. Unfortunately, they don't really live up to the expectations. Now, don't get me wrong, what we got here does the job, but it could have been a lot better. The game often pits you against two villains at the same time. It's almost as if Insomniac introduced too many villains and didn't have time to build a complete separate fight for each one. The fights are short and not as interesting as I was expecting and fall short on delivering to the expectations. But if there's one thing that the game completely excels at, it's the open world. It's gorgeous and full of life and little details. You rarely get bored as there's always something to do, collectibles, enemy outposts and dynamic missions in the world. Serve the right to refuse service and knock out any criminals. You always get distracted by something outside of the story missions, which themselves are varied, interesting, and held together by a great scenario. And as soon as the credits rolled, I went back to complete the game, as there were many side missions and collectibles waiting for me to complete. He's gone. Still our best shot. I'll try to find the place. Thanks. This is undoubtedly the best Spider-Man game ever made, period. And the ending definitely hints at a sequel, and I already can't wait to see where they take it from here. Incredible experience in my opinion, and a must-have for any PS4 owners out there. This game gets an amazing 9 out of 10. Thank you guys for watching, please subscribe to the channel, and see you next time.